So for any of you that may remember, I did a mini uh, window tint video. It did not go well. In fact, my wife was very vocal in that video of saying how crap I was. Hmm. Very vocal. <laughs> so anyway, I had kept some of the reels that was over from the tin. So basically it came in like a big bit and you peel it off and just supposed to slap it on, a bit of hair drying, you know, a bit of water and a little bit of squidgy and they go on lovely, do they? Anyway, the quarter panel windows on this truck. I know I haven't done a catch up, um, but I've just been plowing on with it and to stop and record. I don't think people realise how much time it actually takes to chat. Anyway, quickly look at this. These quarters here, they're delaminated, so it's where it splits and it gets all water in it. It looks like bubbles. It looks like someone's trying to tint the window really badly. Um, I have just gone on the outside and the inside with tin. Um, I think it looks quite nice. I've done both sides. And I'm not a professional, but there's no bubbles, but it looks like there is because obviously it's delamination. Have a quick look. So you don't really, you know, you, if you do it that way, you can see it, can't you? You know, um, it is black. I don't think the police would know known because the windows are curved here and I've still got my main window. It's just this little bit here. I get a dodgy copper, you know, over there as well, you can see it. I get one of those jobs worth coppers and he may moan about it. But I've done the inside as well as outside. But you can clearly see, you can still see through it. In here, mm, stereo, cigarette lighter, all wired in. I did find a nice ignition live in the end. Carpet's all in. I've just got these down for the time being. I'm beginning to think maybe this gear knob obviously is not the same, but I am thinking that it is proper because I looked underneath. I didn't think it was. Anyway, there we go. All the little side bits work. All the carpet's done. The seats didn't go as well as I loved, um, but end of the day, compared to the Indian blanket rubbish. I'm actually quite happy with them. I've cleaned the back window up here looks great Speakers, I think it looks nice marks at a 10. It just marries up with that quite nicely I'm gonna put a little bit of black on here as well like the sticky stuff like this Just to stop the slipping because you can slip But she's looking very very pretty here. Yeah, just um simple. I always do the cheap polish first the anti-scratch stuff Let's talk down, but anyway, I've been told I'll be iris blue rather than a baby blue. But yeah, come on, I've just got to look. This is the stuff I was saying. Look, you peel the window off and you get left with this sort of whole thing. I thought, well, I don't like chucking nothing away, but I'm really impressed with this. I know I've shown it before, but I am really impressed. I'm going to do the top as well, polish all up there. Now, I put indicators on her, and my neighbour gave me. Some of these older version ones, so don't look so new. I'm going to use that as a reverse light. So I'm going to drill that in the back. So, what do you think from the front? Oh, I actually like these spotlights. They're 1960 odds. I think they look quite nice. I know they're slightly bigger, but it's all painted up now. It's starting to look really yummy, isn't it? I've got to do it under here next, drag it out, scrape all under here, and then I'm going to spray it all up. Oh, nice shiny wheels. Under here, most of the bolts were actually like quarter turn, if not half turn loose. When I tightened them up, I get no more drips, which is great. The exhaust I fancied, you know, maybe cutting it here or waiting just after here and doing the twin pipes at the side. So it's twin either side. Well, I got told I'm just being a bit silly. <laughs> I'm going to black the diff. All under here has got to be done. It is quite rusty. But we'll see what we can clean up with this. This here I'm going to polish. Get rid of the rusty bits. But I can't do nothing with this. I'm not going to try and sort that out to be honest with you. It's, it's a hide into nothing. You gave me this. Do you know it's just enough? Now I've changed the battery. Got a nice shiny big battery I've got on the other trucks. Um, 800 amps. Perfect. I just wanted to make sure. When I found this in rusty spot here. It looked like it actually been burned underneath. So somewhere along the line. Old battery must have been higher. 
but this works really well. Nice bit of deadening, but I like it because it just doesn't look so crap under here now. Obviously, a little bit more tidying and a little bit of polishing and cleaning. The foghorns sound very, very nice, I have to say. Proper truck sound. And it's not a bad place to be under here now. So the restoration is coming along. Underneath, we'll drag it out, have a really good look around it as well. But I quite like little tick windows now. Sounds like a bleeding line, but it wasn't. It was an old Seat piece. So, wait for me to drag the old motor out, get all underneath sorted, and we'll have a nice look around it, start sound as well. Under ceiling has got to be one of the worst jobs in the world. Stinks, you end up black everywhere, in your face, up your nose, in your lungs, you name it. Even ventilated. It's horrible stuff. But it's satisfying because does make a nicer job underneath. Let me show you. Still shaking the bloody can. Obviously you've got to dust off first, but yeah. What do you think? Satisfying? <laughs> I think so. One coat so far. Bit rusty in places. Satisfying. And uh, does a nice job, you know? I didn't end up tinting the back window because I hadn't got a long enough bit. It would look rubbish and I doubled them up now, so they're both sides, which looks a lot better. Might readjust the door. Give it a polishing. Polishing even, did the roof as well. Bonnet looks nice. Yeah, next shot. The outside, and then you can see how beautiful she looks. And all the hard work I've done in this so far. A few more bits, bobs to do. But other than that, it's looking damn good.